It doesn't really matter which of the decks we get because they are exactly identical to the card. <laughs> Alright, but there you go. <laughs> Might as well. Alright man, are you ready for these shenanigans? I don't know that you're ready. Okay. So, we'll roll to see who goes first. Alright, I go first. I will take the play, because why not, I suppose? Let's see how we do this. Alright, if you haven't seen this before, ladies and gentlemen, you are in for a treat. You are indeed. Okay, so I will keep. Alright, first episode in what I hope will be a series of these kinds of videos. Oh, he's having to read his cards. Okay, now he's he's not as familiar with the cards as I am, so that's fair enough. I, I built both these decks, and Dead Ale Guy is not the most common archetype, even if a lot of its cards are played. Sure, I will keep this. Okay. I would like to start off with a Marsh Flats, and I will pass the turn. See what you got. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, we'll crack. And we won't. We will get a planes. Just a regular old basic planes. Let's see. Where are you? Hey, there you are. Okay. Cool, let me shuffle up for a little bit, and then, yeah, I'm at 19. Okay. Let me draw my card. Here we go. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to want that later on. But it doesn't matter, because Iganjo Castle Sharazad. Alright, so, step one. Now, for those that don't know how Sharazad works, I'll... <laughs> Players must leave the game in progress as it is and use the cards left in their libraries as decks with which to play a sub-game of magic. <laughs> Alright, you see where this is going. When the sub-game is over, players shuffle... For whatever reason, I think this was written by Russians or people who don't use articles, because when sub-game is over, <laughs> um, players shuffle these cards or turn them to libraries and resume game in progress with any loser of sub-game... So it says, having their remaining life points rounding down. Effects that prevent damage can't be used, blah, 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 blah. Basically, whoever loses that game loses half their life. Or a little bit more if it's an odd number. Okay, so what we do now is... There we go. We're going to write this down. Actually, first we're going to play this. <clears throat> there we go. Write this down. Keep all of this here, and we're gonna move everything to another another zone. So here we go. Now to see who goes first. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do this every time. Okay, so you go first this time. All right, here you go, my friend. Now it actually does matter which library we have. All right, so I will take my seven and see where we go from here. All right. So now that the jig is up, now that everybody knows what we're doing... <laughs> okay. Um, I'll keep. I'm feeling good about this one. I'll keep. Fair enough. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Concealed Courtyard, Inquisition of Kozilek. Toxic Deluge, Gideon, Liliana, Sharazad, Bob. Well, I think we want to take the Dark Confidant here. And then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> it's a reader. Whatever it is, it's a reader. Dark Confidant. 
uh, with my own. Then I'll pass the turn. Greatness at any cost. And I will steal your flashlight here as my don't forget your dark confidant counter. Counter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we found a top deck land. Gonna fire off the Liliana here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she, she does the one. <laughs> she does indeed. Did you bring your dice with you this time? Or? They're in the car. <laughs> I'm sorry. When we stop for the next game, I'll get one. We'll just remember she's at one for right okay. now. All right. We can do that. She yeah. might not last for much longer anyway. At least that's the hope. That's the hope. On the other hand, if you top deck another land, I may be in some trouble. Maybe. Alright. We're going to go Vault of the Archangel. Actually, if you top deck a land, no problem. Thalia Heretic Cathar. And pass turn. That seems okay. You just refuse to cast that Charizard. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh, no, 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 no. That's what oh. happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what happens. Oh, that's not the one that makes them cost Not extra. Guardian of Thraven, no. Okay. She makes them cost extra. <laughs> oh, I did that back hazards then. Yeah. So I should have. So that's toxic the one that had to fetch to okay. be a toxic daily. Pay two to Pay kill two. the Thalia? Yeah. Okay. And she's going to plus to two. Okay. March lights. Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Alright, which one are we going to go and get? Gee, I wonder. Gee, I wonder. Batter Skull. Mm -hmm. And then I'll pass the turn. Now Lilion is at two. If you want to sack the Lily, you can do it. There we go. No shock lands, so you can get scrub land if you want. All of your lands are scrub lands, but, well, identical deck lists, so both of ours actually. Full of scrub lands. <gasps> okay. Well, in the meantime... Here we go. And grab something to drink real quick. I don't usually do that, but I appreciate a nice crisp taste. All right, my friend. <laughs> Boink. There we go. Whee! Gideon. Make a dude. All right. Here, let me make. Let me get a dude out for you. Uh. Here we go. That's a dude. Wait a second, wait a second, I got this. I got, I have the best. Let me get you the best knight token here. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't know how well I can see that. Let me make it a little bit brighter. Alright, there we go. You have the best token in existence. The best token that could ever be. Alright, that's turn I assume. Mm -hmm. Butter Skull. There's a germ token underneath it. Pass turn. <laughs> Let's pretend that there's a germ token there.
Plus one. Yep. Swing for five. I will take five. Second maybe. Yes. Ooh, okay. Your Stone Forge Mystic goes and gets something. That seems fair. Oh, and I actually need to note on here. Well, it doesn't matter because the card that's on the stack will stay. I was about to say I should note on my little document which, whether we use Charizard or the other one, but uh, because it's on the stack and it's on the table, it's a bit of a dead giveaway. Batter Skull, yep. Batter Skull is pretty good in Batter Skull Wars. Alright. And that's your turn? Yep. Cool. Combat. Yep. Um, let's see here. It's a two, two. So double blocks before damage. Okay, so double blocks? Yeah, right before here. damage, zealous persecution. Hmm. Okay, let me decide how to distribute the damage here. We're going to put three on the Stoneforge Mystic and one on your uh, Knight Ally. So Mystic's gone. You don't get four, you only get the three. Zealous oh, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. One. It buffs and nerfs. Okay, so, so just the three on the Stone Forge yeah. Mystic. I'll gain three. This is, there's no longer a germ token. Yay! Um, then, my Gideon with Ooh. my token. Give me that. I don't know what you're going to use, but you're going to have to find something else, because I get to, you know, my kid. Okay, let's see. Any, meaning Get the money. Starburst out of the bag. Get the Starburst out hey, that works. That's a good one. That's a white token. Wait a second. That's a white token. Alright. And then I will pass the turn. And once again, we're, we're kind of just assuming that we know what they are, what they're at. But, now that we have Starburst, we don't have to assume. Gideon, ally of breast cancer. No, no, not ally of breast cancer. That's exactly not how that works. A couple more. <laughs> Why not? I'm just going to have all of the fun. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I, I wonder what we're getting, since there's only one other target in the deck for it. Unless it's it's not in your hand. Okay, there's GTA. Cool. Alright, my friend. What is fear again? What is fear? Yeah. Fear means that black it can't be blocked artifacts, except right? by black yes, black artifacts. Okay. There we go. I'm just loving life right now. Alright. Boink. Anything else, my friend? I'm going to plus one Gideon. Yep. Give him fear. Okay. And hit your Gideon. I bounce it to your hand with Caracas. So now he's a legendary creature, so... I didn't even realize you had Caracas out. Yeah, four on the Gideon and then... One Karak is doing its thing. Doing its thing. Go ahead. That's, that's the sound it makes. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Yeah, draw a card. No Sharzog when you could use it. Mm. No Enter the Dungeon when you could really use it. Alright, well, Stoneforge Mystic's a pain. <laughs> uh, 
All right, my friend. I would like to plus Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon gets another Starburst counter. Oh, they all have fire on. There we go. Gideon's actually Chandra confirmed. <laughs> all right. Uh, Charizard and the ally, the knight ally, core ally, knight ally, are going to swing. Champion. Okay. Uh, you take two. Yep. And then we will... Swords your Stoneforge Mystic. You gain one. And yes, I know there's a batter skull coming in just a second. <laughs> And I'm not looking forward to it, but we are going to pass the turn after that. Batter Skull or Gideon, one of the two. This is the softer way of shuffling your hand, I suppose. As opposed to this monstrosity. <laughs> I have the best token. The best tokens. Alright, Batter Skull's good. There's a germ token underneath it. Actually, actually. There's a germ token on top of it. I mean, in the art, that's what's happening. There's the germ token. The mm -hmm. germ. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In end of turn, I'll return Batter Skull to hand because it didn't have a token. And then one more. And then I'll untap it, tap, tap. Draw my card. Draw my last pathetic card, Yugi. I will. I would like to... Hello, that is not how that works, Jay. One, two, three. All right, Lily on the Veil, Edict. <laughs> there we go. All right, so Lily is at one, and she also hates breast cancer. So we're gonna do this. All right, plus Fiery Gideon. He's going to swing in for seven. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn him this way so that you can see Evangeline's pretty face. And how many cards do you have in hand? Three. Okay. And I know what they are. It's Charizard, Umuzo Jite, Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. Um, well... Nope, we're, we're fine. We're going to pass the turn. And you know what one of mine is, obviously. Batter Skull. Do it. Do it. Oh, no! <laughs> You jerk. <laughs> you had one other card in your hand. And you teased me with that. I'm like, it's got it's white white. It's gotta be Charizard. Alright, now just to make sure you hit anything that's not a land. Okay, well that that's unfortunate. Yeah, alright, so your choice, as if I know as if I don't know what you're gonna pick. Would you like collective brutality? Smuggler's cop okay, batter skull goes under it. That'll work. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I'm assuming cast Gite. All right. Fair enough. Okay. That's the turn. All mm -hmm. right. Well. Okay. Cool. Player land. Mm -hmm. Collective brutality. Escalate once. Discard Smuggler's Copter. I do have to tap my mana. We're getting that. One, and... This, this game is basically over, isn't it? Let's see. Two, five, two. And you're at nine. I actually don't even have to use the Shambling Vent. 
I can collective brutality minus two minus two okay. and drain you for two. Twenty to seven, and then plus Gideon and Sword Gideon. Okay. Oh, Jay, you had one job. You, I, I, as I was pointing to Gideon, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. I'm missing something. Okay. Yeah, it's a little too late now. Even if I respond with Liliana, he can, in response, swords me. Okay, so even though this is a casual game of kitchen table, we're going to say that that does it. Alright. But, that means that I gain, not like it matters, but I'm going to gain five left. Other way. There we go. I would like to activate a shambling vent. Mm -hmm. Swing for four. Lifelink. Good old lifelink. Uh, you know, might as well now. We're going to plus Lily on it now that it doesn't matter. There goes Gideon. And pass turn. Oh, well, this is in my hand, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, in that case, Batter Skull's gone. <laughs> we didn't give it back off of the Tide Hollow Skuller. Super casual game of magic. Give me back that Batter Skull. <laughs> See, Tide Hollow Skuller actually just exiles it for good for two mana. Tide Holler 2 OP. Please nerf. It's okay, so even if I did the Liliana correctly, he just discards Gideon in instead, so... I was actually kind of messed up either way, unfortunately. And it's okay to discard the Gideon because I have Caracas. Judgment. Okay, what would you like to pick? Uh, Lily. Alright. I will also uh, elect Lily. Lily. <laughs> that is how that works. Technically, I could pick something else if I wanted for whatever reason. Anyway, something not, anyway. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's that game? Yeah. Okay, so we conclude this game and we're going to move back onto the table. This is not as deep as I was hoping it would go. Oh, back. Okay, so back to this game. Because you lost a Charizard game, you lose half your <laughs> you lose half your life total, Yugi. All right, and thus concludes Charizard. That's my turn. Pass turn. <laughs> That's all I did for that whole turn. I'm hoping this is just how the Inception movie started. You know how they they weren't doing that in the layers back in the beginning. I swear to God. Okay, Swamp, Stoneforge Mystic, Toxic Deluge, Charizard, Bitter Blossom. Oh my God! Are you serious? The fun police over here. Go ahead. All right. I'm playing Charizard Burn. He does not. He does not want me to have my fun. Okay. Well then. Play a Swamp. I guess we'll, uh, it's tough to say whether I want to get that card out of my deck, tutor up for to try to find something to win later on, or if I want to just get the inevitability engine out of the way. And Bitter Blossom tokens help to protect my Stoneforge Mystic, so that's what we're, you know, from uh, Liliana, so that's what we're going to do here. Bitter Blossom, pass turn. I swear, if we only go one layer deep this whole game, <laughs> on the premiere episode. I brought all my playmats. Uh, yeah, Smuggler's Copter is a thing. Alright, you see me at 18. Let me get out my... Also, it happens to be my Fairy Rogue token. Wait, wait, if we're gonna do a different... Let's do a different one for her. If we're gonna do the Fairy Rogue. Let's see. Any meeny, miny... Let's get her... Ooh, well, that's a... <laughs> Let's get her being even, somehow even cuter. She's always cute, but you know. Alright. There we go. Stoneforge Mystic. Mm -hmm. Tutor time. Let's see. I would like to get an Umazawa's Jite. Good old G Day. I think that seems better with the Bitter Blossom than Batter Skull, baby. <laughs> I had to let the alliteration run. You, you can't see, he's rolling his eyes over here. 
I don't blame them. Not a, not at all. Not a bit. And then I will play a Marsh Flats. Pass the turn. All right. Stumpwitch missed it. Resolves in the black white deck. Yeah, no dash hopes for me. It's a black black, either counter target spell or you can pay five life. You can bet, you can imagine how that usually goes. The copter has indeed so been crewed. I'm going to choose to loot. Okay. Um, I don't know that I feel too too bad about. Yeah, I think it's probably fine just to just to take it here. I think. I think. I think. Eh, what do I have to lose? Alright, cool. Next turn? Yep. Sweet. No fetch. Okay. Yeah, you lose one from... Boink! <laughs> yeah. Good catch, good catch. <laughs> Yeah, when you're at this high of a life total, that, that's not something you're trying to avoid, that's something that you're just forgetful about. Alright, cool. Tell you what, there's one that can attack and one that can't, because that's how this works. Well, you know what, we've been using this convention earlier. We're gonna say, there you are, <laughs> there you are. Get the Starburst token in. Alright. Just in case we need a blocker, we'll actually cast the GTA. And then we will equip the GTA mm -hmm. to the Evangeline, the Evangeline token. Shoutouts to Evangeline. I will swing at you for one. Mm -hmm. Just the one. Take one, get two handy dandy GTA counters. And. You know what? I think I think we're fine. I think we're going to pass the turn. Right back at you, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's Batter Skull. Um, go ahead. Okay. Ink. <laughs> now, this one can attack, this one cannot. Can't cover up Evangeline. It's too cute. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Alright, now we'll draw. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny. Man, but I like all of these. I like all of these. Uh, there isn't anything about this I don't love. Alright. That's a decent click that I can do right now. Hello! Ads! Ads are fun! Ads are really fun! I've never seen that. <laughs> T1 Glistrow brought to you by Facebook. Um, uh, how do we... 
Okay, there we go. There we go. We got there. We got there. Um, I... Okay. I will... Start off with, I'd like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. the copter. Okay. Now before you before you do that though before you block you must know that I'm going to give no, this is fine. This is a cake is fine too. A cake is fine. Never mind. Feel free. Go go right ahead. Block that one. Block the bigger one? Uh loot. Bigger one. Okay. I have a 5-5. Five five. Alright, so you end up taking just one. Just one. Stoneforge Mystic! Woo! Obvious Batter Skull is obvious. Alright, come on. Where's another Shars artifact? Not one that you keep discarding over here. Alright. And then Dark Confidant. Mm -hmm. Greatness at any cost. And I put two more counters, put my Reminder Starburst on here, and then I'll pass the turn back to you, my friend. Oh, can't cover her face. There we go. Let me see. Oh, I don't know how well they can see that right now. Well, maybe they can see it okay. Maybe. Nobody comes before her. There we go. <laughs> That's how this works. She's a knight ally. She's a fairy rogue. She happens to be simultaneously a white knight ally and a black fairy rogue. And by the time that we're done with this, she'll be a germ token and everything else. Gite! Okay. Yep, so Stoneforge Mystics are going to bounce off each other. I'm going to okay. chomp the Batter Skull over here. You're going to game four. And yes, the other play could have been tap the Stoneforge Mystic for Batter Skull. I really want that Dark Confidant here. I really want Dark Confidant. Go ahead. All right, 12, got you back. <laughs> there we go. Take zero. Fetid Heath. Mm -hmm. And you know what that does. Yep. Good old Orzhov filter land. Like, no, I'm not saying it for you, I'm saying it for them. Hmm. Man, I like every single play here. Everything looks beautiful. Everything does. Okay, so we're going to swing. Push. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I have two counters. What would I like to do with them? I guess the easiest one is kill the Stoneforge Mystic. Ah. Uh, but alas, I don't think I'm going to use them for anything. That said, I am going to pretend that you chose the Starburst so that I can keep Evangeline out on the board. She's just not equipped with a Gitae anymore. She took its place. Okay, so you took all of a grand total of... <clears throat> I don't know what happened there. You took one. Now, we're going to put out a Batter Skull. And... Horror of all horrors, we're gonna give that batter skull a gite. <laughs> dun dun dun! Mm, I think we're fine. 
past turn. Breast cancer. <laughs> All right. Mm. The cool, crisp taste of insert drink that's not sponsoring me here. <laughs> if only. Creatures that don't matter on the outside, creatures that really matter on the inside. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You know what? I still don't have a germ token. Swing four. Okay, but first, first. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. There's our there's our germ token, which means there we go. Okay, so you're swinging just with a batter skull. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna dump a counter into uh, batter skull, and we're going to gain, technically speaking, a metric crap ton of life. We're gonna gain six. We're gonna gain four. We're gonna kill the germ token on your batter skull. Mm -hmm. All right. Do 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 do. Right. Boop. Turn. Yep. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Because it doesn't have to be played at a sorcery. Usually, that's the kind of thing we do at. Oh, we're gonna get a seventeen. Make another one. Boop. There we go. Take zero. Yeah, we can just keep sequencing them that way. Well, you already know what that is. Okay. Cool. Cool. We have a chump blocker. But... I don't want to keep passing the Evangeline token. That, that doesn't seem right. Um, you know what? We're going to swing with... Everything except for a Stoneforge Mystic. And actually, actually, we're going to give fear to the Batter Skull so that it can't be blocked. We're going to dump a counter into uh, the. It's not legendary. Oh, this has to give legendary yeah. creature. Okay, okay. For some reason, I was thinking it was give a creature. You're right. No, you're right. You are indeed correct. That does not work as I had thought. All right. Mabi. Mobby, maybe. Alright. That's still there, then. In that case, we are still swinging with the Batter Skull, along with two fairies, Dark Confidant, and a Stoneforge Mystic. I'm going to bounce off the Stoneforge. Okay, so these two get to woo off each other, and you're going to be taking one, two, three, four, dump a counter, that's six. You're going to take ten. And I will gain six. Ooh, rather way. Six. Get two more counters. You're going to spin one of them to kill the Stoneforge Mystic. Because, you know, one damage shenanigans. And then, for the rest of my turn. For my. I am sad we didn't get to do more layers. That makes me sad. And yes, I know we had the kill in hand. But, no, let's not. Rest in peace. Uh, Caracas. And we also can do that. You know what? Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. One. Since it doesn't look like we're going to get to live the dream... We're not going to get to live the dream and go into seven layers deep. We're going to get a scrub land, tap it, we're going to throw the Jite over to our first strike creature for protecting ourselves. Not that there's anything hasty I'm expecting, but I suppose it's technically right to have a potentially 5-4 first strike creature around to do its thing. 
And I have the mana to do it, and I can double protect it where I couldn't with Batter Skull. So I think this is fine. And then we'll pass the turn. You got it. Alright. Yeah, so the, the win in hand was Gideon Emblem, you know, plus one plus one shenanigans. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's that. But if I do that, you just block the Batter Skull because you have to. Oh, man. You gotta embrace the Inception. You, you have to not discard Charizard and make me discard Charizard. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, all right then. Even so, these are still pretty dumb dual decks. You didn't even get to see some of the shenanigans we have. But till next time, next time.